They have given their stance and their understanding on where law, democracy, and politics should stand. Which one takes president? Which one is the first born? Which is the second born? Mm -hmm. And um, Arnold says that one is the final byproduct of all the two. I don't know which one stands. And uh, Akili Nyaribu says this an entire thesis. For PhD students, uh, this is where to be. All right, free classes, class in session. We're almost coming to the end. Okay, let me start with you, um, Katisia. So, Kenya, we are enjoying all this space, democratically speaking. But uh, when it comes to the issue of law, are we in that space? Because we've had scenarios and situations where court orders are being defied in broad daylight, and the judges are now left, you know, at the whim of politicians to run the show. Kevin. Uh, thank you, Victor, for that. And indeed, I'll uh, be very brief on it and mm -hmm. say I completely agree with my senior here, Nyaribo, that uh, when you talk of law, democracy, and politics, is, these are very wide uh, concept. Mm. And that's why I said uh, you have to begin with the law, go to the democracy, then now go to the political uh, the element of it. And when you talk of law, I think uh, law is actually what makes us uh, coexist. Mm. Because without laws, we can't coexist. And it is very unfortunate that uh, uh, some of, of our politicians, uh, including our president, whom we res respect very much, uh, at some instances, he has not been respecting uh, uh, court's uh, decisions. <coughs> and he even said publicly that uh, he will not obey any court order, which is against uh, his, uh, his uh, manifesto. And I think that is unfortunate. Uh, this, this morning I read the papers that on Friday, the Court of Appeal actually uh, uh, agreed uh, to, uh, to the, the SHIF, Social Health Insurance Fund, to continue, mm. but of course with some uh, restrictions, which, which, which are yet to be determined. But uh, the question is, I hope the, the judges were not uh, uh, coerced into making that decision. Yeah. Or maybe I hope that the judges did not fear that uh, action may be taken on them. Because, you know, the rule of law must be respected. Mm -hmm. When we talk of uh, judiciary, judiciary actually is the custodian of the rule of law. And without the rule of law, we cannot have a democracy, we cannot have a smooth political space. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's high time that all leaders, especially political leaders, the executive arm of the government must respect the judicial arm of the government, the, uh, the legislative arm of the government must respect the, the judicial arm of the, of the government. And that's why I said when I was here the other day, Victor, that uh, it was very unfortunate when I, when I heard uh, the, the, the National Assembly Deputy Speaker, Gladys Bosholé, uh, attacking uh, uh, our former colleagues in the judiciary. Yeah, that clearly means that the, the legislative arm of the government is attacking the judicial arm of the government. So for there to be a proper rule of law, all the three arms of government must respect each other. Court's decisions must be respected, mm. and also the courts themselves. And we, we have seen the, the, the Chief Justice being very firm yeah, on any judicial officer who is, uh, who is inappropriate, uh, firm actions are taken on them. Yes. And for us to attain, uh, Victor, mm. for us to attain uh, democracy, mm -hmm. Uh, both politically and also, you know, when you talk of democracy, Victor, democracy also happens in uh, <coughs> other institutions. It's, it's, not, it's not only political institutions, but also other institutions. Uh, there could be private institutions mm. or uh, public institutions, where even here in KBC, Victor, there must be democracy yeah. in how employees are handled by the, by the employer, you mm. know? Yeah, and that democracy <coughs> is safeguarded by the law. Mm. And that law is, uh, is actually uh, uh, upheld by the judiciary. So what I can say is that uh, if we can have a strong judiciary, and the, the judiciary should be given enough support yes. by the executive and by the legislature to, 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 to uphold the rule of law, then as a Kenyan we can mm. say that uh, we shall be heading in yeah. the right direction. Right. And we believe that so far, yeah, uh, since the, the judiciary is doing their, their duty, so, and we have not had the president attack them any further. Mm -hmm. I think uh, let's continue like that. Very good. You know, whereby the president is leading in the forefront. Because mm -hmm. when he was being sworn in, he saw to protect the constitution of Kenya. Okay. He, he saw to defend the rule of law. He saw to defend democracy. Mm -hmm. Let that be, be seen. There could be some government agendas which are not democratic. Mm -hmm. Public participation. Uh, must be done. And okay. I'm happy that I've seen in the papers that uh, the CS for Health will do enough public participation. Mm. That is the way to go. Right. Actually, the judiciary was only saying that uh, it, the, the policies are not, are not bad, but please do enough public participation. But, there okay. must be democracy. Allow, allow, allow me to, allow me to yeah. do that. Allow Thank me to you. do that. But Arnold, um, mm. I'll, I'll treat that as your closing remarks, Kevin. Um, yes. Arnold, no, so be, be, as a nation, are we no. getting it right? We are in 2024. Are we getting it right? The three law, democracy, and politics. <coughs> 
first of all, I just need to actually anchor this properly. That number one, uh, law, democracy, and politics. I want to actually go back to what I said. That politics is the why. The why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Law and its attendant statutes and all support uh, uh, arms is the how. And then democracy is the what. Mm -hmm. So that then you get it clear. It's about uh, the why we do this, it's politics. <coughs> but to the how we come up with the philosophies that anchor the laws and everything else on how we would like it to be done. That takes care of the how. And then, of course, governance becomes the what, the output. So we are quite good. The Constitution 2010 is quite uh, progressive. Uh, literally, uh, many, probably uh, many decades ahead of uh, uh, even the society itself. Uh, that is why a lot of precedents are actually uh, setting up uh, continuously. Courts are pronouncing themselves, and uh, even administrative action mm. is redefining the law, and the law keeps on evolving. Of course, the constitution we have now is not necessarily the constitution in yeah. It's changed over time. Uh, even though we've not had, quote unquote, a major amendment, it's changed because law evolves differently. Mm. Uh, we are getting it right because uh, at least we have got a president, number one, who respects the rule of law. Uh, I saw when he was in Nyandarwa, we had this particular uh, remarks he made, and it's really Costa Rica that does not exist. It's a furore that is not there. The president, for example, never used the word defy. Again, I will go back to the rules of writing a news piece. Mm. It's facts, mm -hmm. being sacred, opinion is free. In the president's speech on it, he never used the word defy. He raised issues with specific cases, and he said a few individuals. How we collectivized a few issues to actually mean the entire judiciary really beats me. Two, where the media got the word defy is that place. Literally, the media should also call itself to a table. <coughs> where did they get the word defy? The president never said he will defy. And in writing a news piece, you do not go ahead to interpret and allocate and abrogate opinions mm. over and above what has been said. That is why we take the comment as it is. The president said what we should not accept as a society is judicial impunity and judicial tyranny. But what did he call for? He called for a national dialogue in the problems with the okay. judiciary. Mm -hmm. But I will walk you back in one sentence. In 2012, when CJ Mutunga Emeritus was actually handing over, he said we need to have a conversation about corruption in the judiciary. Mm -hmm. That is an insider, a ranking man. Mm -hmm. When Maraga was actually handing over, he said the same thing, that we need to have a conversation about uh, judicial uh, malpractices. Yeah. CJ Kome has herself actually, mm. at least on three occasions I'm that I can told, remember, I'm told raised you, the same, same issue. Yes, I'm told your President mic President William Ruto, Arnold, I'm, to, I'm told your mic, your mic has a problem. Spoken about it. Yes, yeah. Arnold, yes. I'm told your mic has a problem. Uh, I pol apologies for that. Um, uh, yes, I'm sorry for that, Arnold. All right, Wakile uh, Ribo, as we finalize, uh, just give us a word. Uh, we are told that you, for clarity purposes, LSK, okay. how is the complaint? <clears throat> Pardon? How is the complaint? <laughs> the campaigns are just here to start, I think, uh -huh. after the elections board, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 clears all, you know, the candidates. And I think in the course of the week or so, the, the, or in the course of week or next week, they should be able to declare the campaigns begun. Mm. But do not dissuade me to avoid the, uh, to comment, uh, uh, Victor, that uh, democracy is all we need as a country. Who cares about politics? I mean, you can go on top of Prados and uh, V8 and, 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 and <laughs> what the, the other cars they use. And, and they sing as much as you want. But mm. if you allow the police independently to do their work, you allow judiciary independently to do their work, you allow the legal fraternity we do, we earn our bread, mm. we will not mind what kind so of how, how, politics how, you want to shout. How, okay. that, how does that bring nationalism? This democracy brings nationalism because everybody is, is able to, to go to manufacturing. Yes. Women are able to go to trade in the morning. There is no city council that is going to batter people who are doing their, you know, roadside sales. So democracy, in my honest and humble view, is the core, is the heart of the movement of a nation. 
if you want to go to state house and do all the kind of change of whatever policies and and the, and the change who sits in which office that is okay but mm. citizens should be allowed a democratic space to speak free speech to go do their trade do manufacturing without being harassed by autocratic and authoritative you know uh, uh, state house comments i will not go into all these uh, hula balos that have been going on i mean between the state house and the judiciary but let me say this judges have nothing to fear judges are trained lawyers mm -hmm. even if they were to come out of the judiciary they will come here they will get Arnold Arnold will hire them tomorrow you uh, Katisha my colleague also even if he's a lawyer again he can hire me so lawyers and judges have got nothing to fear <clears throat> unless somebody is putting actual physical threat to their lives they have absolutely nothing to fear so in terms of independence of the judiciary i agree with arnold uh, muse kenyatta said there is corruption kibaki said there is corruption so did moy say there is corruption and even uhuru himself said there is corruption and it's not new that william ruto is saying there is corruption what i think the country is opposing is the generalized attack on all judges mm. and that is where even my learned friend senior counsel ahmed nasir went wrong when you blanketly condemn everybody, I mean, imagine a honest judicial officer who is earning his salary and doing his work, and you just say the judiciary is very corrupt. That is where the problem is, Victor, and I think the state house should desist from that. Right. After 30 seconds, I say something um, about counties. I'm, I'm told, when you see my director on the floor, that means that things are thick. <laughs> things are thick. We have to leave. It's Gentlemen, okay. thank you so much. Arnold <laughs> Nyaribo. Um, Arnold. <laughs> Maliba, <laughs> <He's nearly laughs> I combined <today>. it. <laughs> <laughs> My mind was working in a in a in a thick way. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Kevin Katisia, Speaker of the National Assembly, uh, Speaker of Kitui County Assembly. Thank you so much for joining us. He's also an advocate of the High Court. Um, Arnold Maliba, Arnold, thank you for coming to the show and for that uh, new title that you have already. A strong fight. <laughs> yes, a strong fight. Now we know which side of your bread is buttered. I'll knock that office very soon. Open the door for us. Wakili Nyaribu, thank you so much. All right, you. viewers of viewers, thanks for watching. Good morning, I'm Victor Lo. Bye-bye.